Killer Instinct could work, right? <laughs> awesome game. So as you guys know, if you have a Raspberry Pi, Killer Instinct 1 and 2 do not work. Okay, It's just too much. Your Raspberry Pi can't handle it. You know, there's just some limitations uh, to what games it can play, and this is one of them. So if you're in a track mode and you're looking at a game and you know it doesn't work and you want to remove it, this is what you got to do. Okay, First of all, think of everything in a track mode or even emulation station. doesn't matter. Think of everything as a file. That video over there playing, that's a file. The background picture, that's a file. Uh, the arcade over there, that's a file. The Killer Instinct logo on the right, you know, Killer Instinct 1 and 2, these are files, okay? Those are just images. So if you think of everything as a file, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, where is that file? So first thing you want to do is go to the Attract Mode Setup screen. So depending on how many displays you have, you may have to go left or right several times, but if you've seen this screen, then you know what I'm talking about. So in the Attract Mode Setup screen, you'll have a press tab to configure <coughs> Attract Mode. Uh, whatever button you have set up, go ahead and go into that. Uh, or if you have a keyboard hooked up, you can go ahead and do that as well. So when you go into the Configure screen, every single list of games, like fighting games, MAME, Final Born Alpha, all of those, those are displays. Okay, so what you want to do is go into displays, okay, and in this case, uh, I was in fighting games, so you scroll down to fighters or fighting games or whatever the name of the collection is that you're editing, and when you scroll up to collection ROM list, that is the key right there, that's your file name, so in this case, fighting collection, no clones in parentheses, that's the name of the file, the text file that has the list of ROMs for that display, okay? So now that we know the name of the file, let's get into the, uh, the Raspberry Pi and log in, and I'll show you where those files are at and how you get those uh, games removed. So there's a lot of different programs that you can use to get into your Raspberry Pi. I prefer Putty. Uh, you can use whatever you like. Uh, so go ahead and launch Putty, or whatever your program, and in Putty, you have to uh, put the right IP address. In this case, we know it's 115. We're going to be using port 22 and secure shell in there. Okay, so go ahead and click open, and you'll get in a login prompt that looks like this, and it should be pi as your login and raspberry, or raspberry, <laughs> um, for your password, uh, unless you changed it. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do is type in cd space slash home slash pi slash dot attract and then rom lists and that'll be your full command and that'll change your directory so that you're now into the rom list folder and if you type in ls you'll see all of the rom lists uh, that you have Okay, so the one that we were looking for when we looked at the display underneath the attract mode settings and configuration, it was looking for uh, fighting collection, no clones um, as the ROM list. You can edit the file two ways. You can use VM, uh, Vim, or you can use Nano. Uh, Nano is more Word document type friendly, uh, you know, so, you know, whichever one. Uh, the way I did that, if I'm going a little too fast, uh, so what you want to do is when you type nano uh, and you type in fighting, you know, or fi, you just start typing it. If you hit tab, it'll autofill the rest of what you need to do. And because that file has spaces in it, there's backslashes in front of the spaces. There's also a backslash in front of the parentheses uh, to let it know that that's not a command, that it's a literal string character. So anyway, so Unix is kind of funky like that. So anyway, uh, you'll type nano and then the name of whatever file you're trying to edit and then hit enter. So in this case, uh, the fighting games, you know, you can just use the up and down arrows to kind of look at all these. Uh, they're delimited by the colon and uh, so the name of the game is the first one, colon, 
and then the uh, human readable name of the game is in the second you know section um, so anyway so use your up and down arrows and you know you find the name of the game um, you know but you go down to killer instinct here we go there we go so you got killer instinct one and two so what do you want to do well uh, to get rid of the game just add a pound sign and you're just typing it you know in this case shift three so just add the pound sign to both of those and when you're done you so control X and then you just say capital Y for yes, I want to make these changes. Okay, and then it wrote that out and it says do you want to keep the name of this file? Don't change the name of the file. Okay, just hit enter. Okay, and that's it. So now let's go back to the emulator, uh, or not the emulator, duh. let's go back to the display and take a look and see what happened to uh, the games. Alright, let's go down to Killer Instinct. Uh, F, G. Okay, there we go. Oh no, Killer Instinct is still here, what happened? Okay, so what happens is RetroPie uh, will not reload a, you know, ROM list unless the ROM list is, you know, being loaded. So, you know, basically, get off of the ROM list, go somewhere else, you know, shift left or right, it doesn't matter. So go look at another ROM list, like shoot em ups, great. Okay, and then go back, and when you go back, Ta-da! No more Killer Instinct. Okay, so it just reread the file. So you can edit the file while you're in there. It's not going to hurt anything, but you're not going to see the difference until you actually get off of the ROM lists uh, or playlist, uh, you know, and then come back to it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So just make sure that you, you know, get the right IP. You get a good program that you can log into. Uh, use Nano. Uh, type your commands slowly, and don't forget to tab so that you can see. Uh, the file name that you're editing, uh, then hit Control X once you've made your changes and you know pounded out the the ROMs that you don't want in there anymore, and then uh, save it with uh, uh, just hit you know type in Y and then enter uh, or capital Y and then enter, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, pretty straightforward. So just go through your ROM list. You can clean them out. Uh, you know, get rid of games you don't play, and or the ones that suck, or the ones that you're like, I don't want my kids finding this one. <laughs> so whatever. So anyway, guys, hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll put a link uh, also to this image. This is our published image, Old School Gamers image. Uh, we just finished this last week. Uh, Arcade Punks is actually hosting it. They were great. They gave us some great feedback. So we'll definitely be coming out with a version two, uh, working out some of the bugs. Uh, thanks for joining the channel, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Trying to get to a thousand—that's our goal. So uh, help us out. Till next time, see ya.